Welcome to edscarpage.com, and here they are, the 2017 Subaru Outback Touring Models. So, it wasn't the first batch they rolled out. They actually, I think they started with the Limiteds and then worked their way down to the base models as they built the 2017s. And then finally, we got some Tourings, and this is the first year that I've worked here that we've had an Outback Touring. So what makes it different from a Limited? Well, it's got some different rims on it, for starters. They're kind of grayish instead of black. They don't really pick up in this uh, light, but as you can see, it doesn't have the black lacquer that the Limited has. Still 18 inch alloy rims. They're just mostly gray metal. And the front has a different grill, kind of a gray look there. Of course, the Tourings come standard with HID headlights. And um, something different, the big difference that people notice are these roof rails. Notice the old Outback roof, which they're still current, the Outback roof rails, and very popular. These are the old ones. Here's the new ones. So this is Subaru's attempt to maybe communicate to a more luxury consumer. It kind of looks like another brand's roof rails that have been around for a while. Just kind of showing you the touring here. But I wanted to focus with the light behind me on the roof rails. So... They're not quite as functional, although you certainly could strap stuff on there if you wanted to. Uh, standard on the Touring is keyless access with push-button start, which uh, comes with a key fob that you can keep in your pocket or your purse. And then all you have to do is put your hand in the door handle to unlock it. Speaking of door handles, I like those body color door handles with chrome accents on the Touring. Also a different garnish down here on the bottom. Get that silver running down there. Whoop. Standard on the Touring is an accessory called the rear bumper cover. So this is added to most Outbacks, although we put them on almost every one we order. But it's standard on the Touring, the rear bumper cover. And let's take a look and see what else is new on this Touring. They all come with EyeSight automatically, which is an option on all the others. EyeSight is those two cameras right there on either side of the rear view mirror. And of course, uh, with that, you get your navigation and your 7.0 inch screen multimedia sound system from Subaru and Harman Kardon. See if it'll let me in. There we go. There you have Java brown leather. That's special about the Touring this year. I'm trying to let you see it in different lights. It's wrapped up in plastic. Ooh. Hey, folks. I'm not quite that good of a video editor yet to edit that out, but you had a close-up view of the cardboard on the floor. So there's your Java brown interior with ivory stitching. And piano black finish on the steering wheel and around the outside here. There's also a different wood grain for the Touring. That's a cupboard. We'll let detail take that off. Um, so the trim is the big difference. Uh, of course, with the EyeSight package, you're going to have the rear assisted braking. You're going to have the uh, high beam assist. An extra feature to the Touring is a heated steering wheel. Whoop -de -doo. There you go. Keep your hands nice and warm while you're driving up to go skiing. And those are the major differences, major highlights on the Touring. This is a 2.5i Touring. Any questions, just click Ask Ed on my webpage. Call me directly at 559-905-0102.